Kong Pham now. Come on. Come on. And he goes all in over the top. Now, Eric can't believe it, but now Jeremy Kotler's the guy caught in the pickle here. Why are you such an animal, man? It's King Kong. Damn right he is. We're giving away $50. It's very simple. Here's how. Step one, go to WPTGlobal.com. Step two, sign up using bonus code YT77. Step three, deposit at least $1. And you better act quickly because we're only giving away $50 to 100 people. All right, thank you, Lynn. And he's going to be 10,000. Blinds are 50 and 100,000. Okay, there you see the chip count. Kong Pham out in front. Behind him, Vanessa Selps, and that's what they're playing for. The winner gonna take home over $825,000. The cards are flying around the table. We are getting started. And first to play is Anthony Zeno. Anthony, 32-year-old pro out of Cranston, Rhode Island. He will not play Vanessa Selps quickly going out. David Randall not gonna play, and now we're on to Jeremy Cutler with the button and a miserable looking 7-4 of diamonds. Yeah, looks like he's gonna make a button raise here. It makes it 225,000 to go. Right behind him though, Kong Pham, the chip leader with ace three has made the call. And look at this, Eric Fields with a big hand. Lots of people have a certain playing style and they just wanna go with that and be one player but that's not really a winning strategy in my opinion. You have to be able to adapt to different players and different stack sizes and different situations. All in. Well, Eric starting out in sixth chip position, still has over three million in chips, moving all in right here with the ace king. <laughs> certainly does. Jeremy Kotler won't play. Kong Pham saying no mas. So first hand going to Mr. Eric Fields. Yeah, nice all in bet by Eric there. Takes down the pot. All right, just getting started at Pagoda in Atlantic City. We're coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. Let's go down to the money pit. David Randall, poker pro out of Columbus, Ohio. First to play, he folds his hand. Jeremy Kotler getting out of his way. Kong Pham now. Well, he's an aggressive player. Going to raise it up here with the 10 of clubs. Makes it 2.25 to go. Eric Fields, though, not going to go anywhere. He's making the call with a king queen. Zeno out and Vanessa now with a pair of deuces. Looks intrigued. Well, I can't imagine she's gonna fold, man. She's probably contemplating possibly raising because she plays so aggressive. But she does just make the call, so here we go. Three-way action here. Here come the first three cards, and it is a king and an eight. King eight, three, two hearts. Action on Vanessa. Kong hitting eights but checking. Kings for Eric Fields. And he's the guy with the real hand at the moment. 22 years old out of Greensboro, North Carolina. He will make the bet. 325. Vanessa out. Well, Kong didn't bet the two eights, but he's going to call with them. Looking to get lucky against Eric Fields. Let's go to the turn. When he does get lucky, and eight hits. Three of a kind for Kong. Well, there's also three hearts out there now, though. Well, Kong is going to check. And Eric wisely checks right behind him. And now a queen comes off, but there's four hearts out there. Neither player has a heart, of course. But Kong bets a half a million without the flush, just on the three eights. But Eric has made kings and queens here, Vince. I know. Might be a tough lay down to make here, but you don't like seeing the four hearts. Call. Now he's going to make this call. Eric well, Eric call. calls with the kings and queens. Sees he got outdrawn on the turn. Kong Pham going to take down this pot to extend his chip lead. Wow, King Kong. He's married with one daughter, born and raised in Vietnam, now living in Naples, Florida. He's the chip leader. He's on a good roll right now. Here's the Royal Flush Girl Social Bar. And you know who's at the end of the bar is the creator of the World Poker Tour, Steve Lipscomb. Well, he's been around all week, Vince. Just sort of been on a vacation here, just laying back and taking the congratulations from all the players for starting the World Poker Tour. All right, on to the next hand. Couple folds, and now Vanessa Selps with a king five of spades. Makes it 200,000 to go. Makes the men raise. David Randall will not play. Jeremy Cutler looks down at an attractive ace nine of hearts. 
because he's out of position. He just calls here instead of three bets. Jeremy's a consultant, semi-professional poker player out of Cleveland, and here is the flop. He hits his nines. And Jeremy, an Ohio State Buckeye. He's going to check. Nothing for Vanessa. And she checks behind him. A three of hearts on the turn. So Jeremy's got top pair, top kicker. Loves his hand after Vanessa checks on the flop. And he's going to bet. Certainly is. 375 to go. And what will Vanessa do? She's got zip and pip. Wow. Nothing there. Well, this is what makes her so tough, Vince. Ooh. Look at this. She checks the flop. She raises on the turn. No hand. No draw. There is. Wait. Wait a second. Jeremy says re-raise. Wow. Well, I can see him calling here. I am shocked that he would re-raise. Just in case she flopped a set of eights or did have the overpair. And she is stunned, Mike. He would be in dire straits right now. But as it is, the gig is up for Vanessa here. <laughs> she has no hand and no draw and has been re-raised by Jeremy. Wait a second. Oh. She's going to call this. Wow. Well, then she's not calling because she's going to try to make a hand and win the pot. She's going to try to take the pot away from Jeremy on the river. Seven of spade comes up. Jeremy checks. Expect a bet here by Vanessa, but she's going to quickly check. Wow, I am stunned by this check, Vince. Essentially, she's just waving the flag, gives up the pot. I thought she'd make a bold bet at the river after calling that raise on the turn with no hand and no draw, but changed her mind. Jeremy taking down that pot. Oh, I think she was waiting for a club to come out and then make a big one. Didn't happen, so the consultant from Cleveland, Ohio, Jeremy Kotler, taking this one down. We're giving away $50. It's very simple. Here's how. Step one, go to WPTGlobal.com. Step two, sign up using bonus code YT77. Step three, deposit at least $1. And you better act quickly because we're only giving away $50 to 100 people. Well, there you see the chip counts of the players. Kong Pham well out in front with over 12 million in chips. He is dabbing it right now. All right, cards being dealt first to play. Anthony Zeno. And Anthony, a poker pro, 32 years old, won't play. Vanessa also going out. Over to David Randall. He looks down at a junk hand, goes out. Jeremy Kotler now with the button. Let's take a peek at his cards. It's a queen king of hearts. Pretty attractive hand. Will raise the 200,000. Kong Pham with Ace King just calls here, Vince. How do you like that? And now Eric Fields wow. with the real hand pair of jacks. Oh, boy. We're going to see some fireworks here. He's on a short stack of 1.6 million. All in. Yep, yep, he's going all in. Can't blame him for going all in here with two jacks. Certainly is. Everybody would do the same. Now Cutler. Is King Queen of Hearts. And he's serious. He's saying, How much is it? Now it's about another 1.4 million to him. It's 1.6 total. That's correct. I call. Whoa, he's going to make this call. Kong Fam now. I'm all in. Kong. All in. And he goes all in over the top. Now, Eric can't believe it, but now Jeremy Kotler's the guy caught in the pickle here. Well, you're such an animal, man. King Kong. Damn right he is. He called the $1.4 million bet, and now has been re-raised all in. Well, Vince, he's in shock how Kong right, played this hand, but I don't see how you can call all your money with the King Queen here. Lays it down, Kong fam, gonna show his ace king, and we got a big race situation here for Eric Fields' poker life. So Eric Fields got to feel pretty good about his chances. Eric Fields, business degree from University of Alabama, would like to get a good flop, and he gets a pretty good one. Well, 9.75, so far so good for Eric. He has got a chance to triple up here. Deuce. All right, here we go with the turn. Oh, boy. Six of diamonds comes off. Interesting. So Kong needs an ace, a king, or any diamond to win the pot. I'll take an eight. Good job, Fog. <laughs> an eight that's not an the eight, eight of diamonds, they would split the pot. 
Well, well right now uh, it's yeah, roll yeah. tide for Eric Fields, and three up, but he's got a lot of cars to dodge and stay alive. I can dodge this many outs. If you had like one out, I'm dead, but this many outs, I'm, I can dodge. Yeah, okay. The youngest player at the oh, table boy. staying cocky. Right, let's go to the river. Let's see what we got. Can he stick around and double up? Down to the river we go. It's an eight. Oh, oh, wow. Nice what oh, tough oh, luck oh, for oh, Eric Fields right there. Vince, he'd have tripled up, had over five million in chips if he wins that pot. Been right in the thick of things to take this title, but that is poker. Eric Fields drowning at the river there when the ace pops off at the river to give Kong the victory. Well, Eric Fields' fields of dreams are over right now. He'll take home $168,000. Let's go see what he has to say. It feels great, you know, my, my friends and family have been great the whole way supporting me and you know, it's, it's been a great ride and unfortunately it didn't get my way, but hopefully uh, hopefully the next time it will. Down to five players, Mike. Yes, what can you say? King Kong making every move exactly right so far. He is flying through the jungle, hasn't missed a vine yet, I can tell you that. <laughs> King Kong, Kong Pham, the 29-year-old out of Vietnam, says he takes his poker winnings and sends it back to the old country for his family. And he's got a big chance of winning nearly a million dollars here tonight. Kong Pham nearing half the chips in play here. All right, we've lost one now. In this hand, Anthony Zeno out. Vanessa Selps with a solid mid pair. Pair of sevens makes it 200,000 to go. David Randall with an uneventful 6 2 spoon play. Kotler getting out of their way. Kong Pham will speculate with a jack five. Well, why not, Vince? The guy is running hot, winning every pot. Let's gamble. Flop comes up, ace, queen, eight. Well, not a good flop for Kong there, but Vanessa not happy with it either. There's three over cards out there. Goes check, check. You now an ace on the turn, pairs the board. Kong looks like he's giving this up. He's checking again. Now, Vanessa's starting to feel like her two sevens are the best hand, but this guy checks twice in a row. So she's going to bet. Kong goes out. Vanessa Selps takes down the pot. The angels have gone up to 20,000. Blinds are 61 20. Quick fold by Zeno. Vanessa Selps. What a talented young player she is. Wow, throws away an ace high. That's unlike Vanessa. <laughs> well, she picked up that the man on her left, David Randall's got a little mid pair, pair of eights, and he will raise with that 275. David Randall, they call him big time. 26 year old pro out of Columbus, Ohio. Codler out, and now King Kong with a nothing 10 3, but he's already invested. And look at this. He's going to reinvest, makes it 625 with a junk hand. Well, Kong really thinks he's running well now. Going to raise with this hand. Back on David Randall. On. Yeah. King Kong's going to get a dose uh -oh. of his own medicine he here. He says all in. An all in bet there over the top by David Randall. Says you can beat these eights. Good luck to you. I don't believe it. Kong goes out. David Randall takes down We've the got pot. players playing with nothing here tonight. Bluffing the way to victories. Action going to Vanessa Selps out of Brooklyn, New York. Quick fold by her. David Randall. Poker Pro will not play this. Jeremy Cutler. He is on the button, looks down at a 10-6 offsuit, gonna throw it away, so battle of the blinds here. To Kong Pham, the chip leader with ace four makes it 250 to go. And now Anthony Zeno. You got king seven offsuit, and you have position on this guy, but still, you know he can raise with any two cards, so you call him with the king high, and you flop two sevens. Yep, and Kong with the fours has checked. It is a habit. You know, if I something like... Anthony, as you can see, his middle pair with top kicker and is going to bet. He bets 300,000. <laughs> Kong. Okay. Kong, very good nature to the table. Going to make a, <laughs> a loose call. A little pair. He's got bottom pair. And we're turning. Check. And he makes three fours on the turn. Vince, we saw him do this a little bit ago when he had two <laughs> eights. His opponent had two kings. He had three eights on the turn to win that pot. Oh, boy. Kong has... Dug the hole, put the branches and the twigs over it, wait for the sucker to fall in, and it has just happened as Zeno bets his sevens. Anthony bets 600,000. And as you can see, he's about to get check raised. And that's exactly the case. And right now, Anthony giving himself a lecture. Why did I bet these sevens? If the guy check raises me, I can't call. I have to throw my hand away, whether he's bluffing or not. Anthony Zeno. 
Went to law school. Loves science and law. Says if he does well here, he's going to pay off some of his student loans. Oh, boy. He won't be able to pay them all off in case he makes this call. But he doesn't. He lays the hand down. Very wise by him. Kung Pham with the three of a kind. Going to rake in that pot. Extend the chip lead. Well, Vince, <laughs> Kong Pham used to be a nail technician. And I can tell you right now, he is putting a manicure on all these players at this table. <laughs> All right, on to the next hand. A couple quick falls around to Vanessa. Vanessa, of course, went to law school at Yale. And she is going to raise this with an ace five. Makes it 250 to go. David Randall gets out of her way. And now Jeremy Kotler with the pair of nines. Well, he's in the big blind with two nines. Vanessa going to raise on the button with about any two cards. Jeremy knows it, so. Definitely going to three bet here, I would guess. He's going to mark an injury out of John Carroll University in Ohio. A shrewd poker player, and he is going to re raise. Sure, he is. Bang. 7.25 to go. Jeremy, what can I say about Jeremy? He was on the short stack. Uh, I think he played it very well. He was cautious when he had to be. You know, now he's got a little bit more chips, and I think he'll probably be dangerous if he gets a stack. Oh, look at this, Vince. Vanessa is going to four bet here with the ace rag and a snap all in bet by Jeremy and a snap fold by Vanessa. Complete disappointment there for Vanessa Selfs. She thought she could manhandle Jeremy. That's not the way it's done here. Jeremy, too tough for that. We're giving away $50. It's very simple. Here's how. Step one, go to WPTGlobal.com. Step two, sign up using bonus code YT77. Step three, deposit at least $1. And you better act quickly because we're only giving away $50 to 100 people. Action on Anthony Zeno. Fold. Yep, a quick fold by Anthony. Vanessa Selps now. She is betting with nothing here tonight. With just Jack Nine, she makes it 250. Vince, what about this? Anthony and Vanessa, both graduates of law school, playing poker as a profession. David Randall out. Cobbler out. Kong Pham might be more stubborn. He's already in the big blind, and he will make this call with an 8 5 of spades. I want to see a flop of that hand. Amazing the hands Vanessa plays. And the flop comes up 7 6 5. Oh, nice flop for Kong. He's got a pair and open and straight draw. Vanessa sees the danger in check, that check. situation. And a jack on the turn, Mike. Well, Vanessa's taking the lead now with two jacks. But look at Kong's hand. Open and straight draw, flush draw, and a pair. And he is going to bet 425,000. Vanessa now with the top pair. Possible straight draw two. They're just going to call. Does not raise with the two jacks. Too many hands could beat her. Down to the river. Can Kong hit here like he's been doing all night? Nope. Ten of clubs. Check. Well, Kong quickly checks on the river. And Vanessa mm -hmm. going for the value bet with the jacks on the end. Of course she does. Well, very impressive here by Vanessa. It's 875. Flop good turn by river. Pay open and then turn, pay open and then flush or <laughs> explaining his hand, how wonderful his possibilities were. Well, in the meantime, that means you're throwing it away when you give that dissertation. He is good natured. I'll give him that as he folds the hand. Well, Vanessa picks up a pot. She's happy to get one. There's Vanessa's newlywed wife, Miranda, in the front row. Married earlier this year. That's right. Vanessa has done nothing but win millions since I got married. Vanessa out. David Randall also won't play. And now Kotler with an A7. That is on the button. Expect him to raise here. Indeed he does. Makes it 250,000 to go. Quick call by Kong Fan with a pair of fours. And Anthony Zeno with a king six. Can't blame him for calling here. He's priced in. Three-way action. Flop comes up a 9-5 deuce. No real help to anyone. Let's check, check to Jeremy. He's going to make the continuation bet here. 425,000. Kong 
Pham calling with the fours. Anthony goes out. So we're going to the turn. Well, a three comes off. Now this gives Kong an open in straight draw. Both players check. And an ace comes on the river. This gives Jeremy two aces, but Kong has a straight and he checks it. Wow, what a good check this is. Well, that you have to bet here if you're Jeremy. When you hit the ace on the river, you're not going to put the guy on a four in his hand when he called a bet on the flop of 9 5 deuce. That's 900,000. Kong fam now with the straight. And he's getting out the racing chips. Well, there 2. it is. 2.6 million. 1.7 million more. Well, Jeremy, just in stunned disbelief, he said, Are you kidding me? Does this guy really have a straight? Well, Jeremy calls it two fours. That's what you put him on this spot, two fours or zip and pip. I think you can lay this hand down. I don't think Khan could be making this move after what he's looking at for Jeremy. I think this is a hand you can lay down for the amount of money. But this is a curiosity call. He's got a call. Well, he was right. He did have the two fours, but as you said, he just wanted to pay to see it, Vince. Oh, that is really going to sting. Jeremy Cutler. Kong Pham just extending his chip lead, hitting the cards he wants, playing them impeccably. Who is this guy? Well, Vince, if you remember the movie King Kong, yes. Jerry Kotler right there was like one of those airplanes flying a little bit too close. Whop! King Kong just knocked him right out of the sky. All right, onto this. All right, Kong <laughs> Fan with the big hand picking up Ace Queen of Spades, just like that. And he makes it 250 to go. Zeno out. Vanessa also not going to play. And now David. He will not play that mess. Yeah. Ooh. Jeremy now looks at Ace King in the big blind. He's definitely going to play. 800. Yep, makes it 800,000 to go. And this could spell a lot of trouble for Kong Fam. All in. Cool. All in. Call. He says all in. Insta call there by Jeremy Cutler. Well, Jeremy has him dominated. If he wins this pot, he'll be in second chip position. If he loses it, he's out in fifth place. Wow. A big opportunity here for Jeremy to double up. Great position here with five cards to come. King Kong usually comes out ahead tonight so far. Really get lucky here with the queen. Not there. It's a 985 on the flop. The spirit suits. A very good flop for Jeremy. He'll dodge two runners to make a straight or a queen. Uh, the crowd on its feet right now. Uh, there you saw Jeremy's brother, Zach, who finished 15th in this tournament. Great showing by him as well. Yeah, the board pairs nines. Now, if an eight or five comes off, they would split this pot. Kong needs a queen to win the pot. I'm amused that this keeps his smile. Down to the river we go. He's got over 20 million in chips prior to this pot, man, so it's easy to smile. You don't want to be worried. Jeremy, on the hand, very worried. Kong hit the queen. It's an ace. It's an ace. Jeremy is going to outkick him. The big kicker is going to play. Ace is up for the king kicker. Going to beat Ace is up for the queen kicker. Jeremy Cotler has once again vaulted back into second place at the final table. Oh, boy. Kicks King Kong where it hurts. Oh, you're right, Vince. He's like the airplanes when they were shooting King Kong down from the top of the Empire State Building.